right now. Get a look at what's happening out there. Uh, Angie, what are you seeing? So we're currently in Ybor City right now. I'm sure that you guys remember we were here in, last night, and obviously it was not raining then. The rain has been consistent throughout the day, and we're still continuing to see those bands of rain and wind come through this area. They have been light, and then all of a sudden they'll get pretty heavy. We just went through a pretty heavy one right now, but right now things are looking okay. If I step out of the way, you're going to be able to see what's actually happening in Ybor City right now. So it is desolate. That is a good thing. They want people to stay off of the road, stay in their homes, the only people that I've seen out on the streets are people that are happen to be taking out their dogs. Some of them tell that it's just about a few minutes away from here. So there are some palm fronds that are down in the middle of the road here. You can really see the palm trees whipping in the wind. And as the wind continues to pick up, those palm trees have pretty much been going a little bit everywhere. And that's why those palm fronds are on the ground. And when it comes to businesses, obviously all of these businesses are closed and they prepared well in advance for this storm. They were expecting to see some flooding and that flooding, not because of the storm surge, but really because of the backup that we could see with the drain system in Tampa. You take a look, there's actually a drain that's here on the ground is actually draining pretty well. There's just a little bit of ponding when it comes to the rain and the water in Ybor City, but right now things are looking okay. We did get an alert to our phone not too long ago telling us that we basically were having an excessive wind warning, which I know that you guys have heard our meteorologists talk about that throughout the last several hours, saying that when it got to the point where Hurricane Milton was going to be approaching the state of Florida and we're getting really close to making landfall, that those wind warnings were going to be in effect. That is in effect for this area until 9.30 p.m. tonight. Right now, we're currently feeling okay. I know that you guys obviously care about our safety as well. We're out here so that we can be your ears and your eyes. We'll be going in and hunkering down whenever we feel like we're starting to, it might be starting to feel a little bit unsafe. Right now, we're good. But again, the wind and the rain, very consistent here in Ybor City. And of course, we're going to continue to see the conditions deteriorate over time. You know, this uh, community there, Ybor City, was founded in the late 1800s, mm -hmm. so it's it's withstood a lot over the years, but perhaps nothing like this. Uh, Angie, when you uh, talked to some of the folks there, were they most concerned about the wind or the water there in Ybor City? Was it mostly about the glass panels breaking and that type of thing? Yeah, and I think that that's why so many of the businesses here ended up boarding up and made sure that their storefronts were covered. We talked to one tattoo shop owner yesterday who not only made sure that he boarded up his business, but he also did put up some sandbags and tried to protect his storefront in that way. But he wasn't really concerned about the water too, too much. He also happens to have some scaffolding over him um, and over his business right now. So he said that he felt kind of like a comfort knowing that the scaffolding was going to be there to be able to protect his business. Some of the other business owners that we ended up speaking to yesterday were saying, you know, we have never seen something like this in Ybor City. The grand majority of the city obviously hasn't seen something like this or what we expected it to be in over 100 years. So obviously people haven't been through this before without them knowing what to expect. That's why they took the precautions that they did. So grand majority of the businesses here have boarded up. Again, you're going to see those sandbags along the roads. We are going to be monitoring the drainage system here because we know that that drainage system is a little bit old. Sometimes it just has some issues and that's why we see the ponding of water and we could potentially see some local flooding because of that. That's something that we're going to be looking out for. Okay.